a banker, father, active in the community. He was just a good guy and, and somebody fun. Friends say Tim McGuigan's life was simply ordinary. His death was anything but. I just can't figure out why something like that would happen to somebody that lives a, a pretty normal life. September 7th, 2011, Wichita police showed up here to McGuigan's home after he missed a breakfast date with his son, then didn't show up for work. This quiet East Wichita neighborhood quickly became a crime scene. I just remember I was shocked. I just, which I remained to today. McGuigan was murdered, shot six times inside his house. It is a little bit, um, baffling, I guess. No signs of a break in, nothing missing and no witnesses. Friends, family and police still don't know who killed McGuigan or why. I mean, we received a, a couple tips um, and we followed up on those. Captain Brent Allred says they interviewed everyone close to McGuigan, but there was never a solid lead or a person of interest. Did he have any enemies? Not that I knew of. Longtime friend Steve Dillard says McGuigan was recently divorced and dating a new woman. Was there something there? Was there a jealous boyfriend of hers? Um, you know, we couldn't imagine it being her. Police say they looked into that new relationship but found nothing pointing to murder. Autopsy results show McGuigan was shot four times in the torso and twice more in his arm and hand. There was also evidence of blunt force trauma to his head. Could it be some type of rage or uh, anger? Um, yeah, possibly. Does that mean that that's why he was shot that number of times, because someone was mad or angry at him? Not necessarily. Others speculated. Was this someone Tim knew? Maybe mistaken identity? But nothing panned out, and eventually all new information trickled off. I mean, not even a, a whispering, a rumor, nothing recently? Nothing recently. No new piece of information? Nothing. Without a lead, Allred says it's tough to keep working the case. It, it impacts a lot of people, the family, the police department, the community that, that want to know, want something in the end, uh, want to know what happened and bring some closure to all this. Who killed Tim McGuigan? A six-year-old question that will go unanswered until someone speaks up. There's got to be someone out there that knows something. And it's just... Uh, it's just so puzzling why it hasn't already happened.